The Bureau for Public Procurement has appealed to the House of Representatives not to pass the bill seeking to amend the Chartered Institute of Purchasing and Supply Management of Nigeria, as the amendment being sought will largely bring the Institute in conflict with the mandates of the Bureau. Speaking at a public hearing on the bill, Director of Civil Infrastructure Nasir Bello, who represented the Director General of the Bureau, said amending Section 12 as contained in the amendment bill will also bring it in conflict with global standards and the provision of the Procurement Act. Bello said having reviewed the bill, the Bureau should rather focus on its primary role in relation to purchasing procurement, store, materials, warehouse, logistics management or procurement chain management in Nigeria and other parts of the world. And align with global uh, practices in line with the uncentral model law through multi-stakeholder engagement. Uh, the bill seems uh, to be mixing or interchanging the role of a regulatory body and a body of practitioners or associations or institutions, institutes. The Public Procurement Act 2007 has clearly defined who the regulator is and who is a practitioner, the third party. The law encourages that there could be more than one practitioner with clearly defined roles and responsibilities. In Nigeria, we do have one regulator, and uh, for what we know, there are two established bodies of practitioners, and many more at different stages of uh, establishment, focusing on different professional areas of competence. The Speaker of the House of Representatives, Honorable Tajin Abbas, said the public hearing is a key legislative process put in place by the Parliament to provide relevant stakeholders and other members of the public a robust window to be part of the parliamentary practice. Represented by the House Leader Honorable Julius Yovari, the Speaker noted that the effective procurement and supply processes play a vital role in economic growth and development and essentially provoke efficient public service delivery. Hence the need to reform the Chartered Institute of Purchase and Supply Management to modernize the profession in line with global standard practice to stimulate enhanced proficiency on the part of practitioners and to foster greater positive results in public and private governance. As the People's House, this important public hearing reinforces our dedication to open participatory and consultative parliament as enumerated significantly in our legislative agenda and demonstrated in the recent Open NAS Week we organized to interface with the masses of our country. Let me emphasize that public hearing is a key legislative process put in place by the Parliament to provide relevant stakeholders and other members of the public a robust window to be part of the parliamentary practice. Chairman of the House Committee on Public Procurement, Honorable Uyeme Idem, said the bill is a priority bill because of the important role it has played in shaping professionals in the field of purchasing and supply chain management in Nigeria and the development of high standard professional skill, ability and integrity among all those engaged in procurement practice. He said the House Committee was committed on public procurement upholding the legal and institutional framework for the enthronement of transparency, accountability, value for money and efficiency in the procurement of works, goods and services within the ministries, departments, agencies and parastals as stipulated in the Public Procurement Act 2007. As we settle in today to consider the issue before us at this hearing on the CIPS MN Act, our contribution and submission should be guided with the fact that we cannot solve our problems with the same thinking we use when we created them and also align our whims and caprices towards the renewed hope agenda of this present administration. However, the committee believes the world has moved on to specialization and sector-based professionalization of public procurement and strict adherence and due process, compliance with the PPA, 
2007 is mandatory for all MDAs to avoid legal repercussions and they will ensure the efficient and ethical utilization of the public resources. Aniti Patrick, Co. TV News, Abuja. Thank you.